Welcome, collectors. Thank you for joining me today for this episode of Diecast Emporium. In today's video, we have the honor of reviewing a classic construction model. This is the Caterpillar 992C wheel loader. Specifically, this is the beadless tire version. This is a long been discontinued model that was first released in 2012. So, as we always do, let's first take a look at the packaging. The model comes in a brown outer shipping box that houses this box, the model's box. As you can see, it has Cat 992C written on it inside the little yellow stripe here on a primarily black box. You have the classic construction models logo on the lower left hand side. Here you have the Block C logo because this is a late 1970s era machine, which is when the 992C was first introduced to the market. And on the bottom, Here's where you have a lot more information. Cat 992C wheel loader, beadless tire version in 148 scale, precision die cast model. On the right side, once again, you have the classic construction models logo where they're located, their website, handcrafted in China. If you don't know this already, obviously these are adult high-end collector's models. These are not toys for any way, shape, or form. And on the bottom, you have your uh, Caterpillar officially licensed merchandise and their copyright information. Another thing in the box is this. This is your serial number and official reprint brochure of the original equipment's actual sales brochure. There you can see the 992C uh, wheel loader on the front. This signifies what serial number of the model you have. In this case, I own serial number 084 of 500 in the production run. This is Gary Peterson's signature from CCM authorizing that this is an official copy. Let's take a look at a little bit more of what's inside. Here you have some other specification information. I know it's a little bit hard to see on camera, uh, such as your axles, final drives, your brake system, your serviceability information, built-in power and efficiency designed for strength and performance. On the other side, once again, here's some different buckets that were available for it operating specifications, and again, the front. Now you may have seen that there's a little insert in this brochure. And that's for the beadless tire operation, which is these steel shoes that are on to protect the rubber uh, on the tire. So this reads steel shoe beadless tire for more work at a lower total cost. Save with tires that extend machine performance. Here's what one of those looks like if you cut into it. And again, this just goes over uh, the advantages of using it and your different static tipping load rating, your straight, breakout force, operating weight, all that other information. Pretty cool. So at this point, what we're going to do, let's take a very, very quick break. Allow me to get this thing out of the box very carefully and take my time with it. When we come back, we'll have the model on the table and we'll start the model review. So don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. All right, everyone. Thanks for coming back and sticking with us. So here we go. Here's the star of the show. Here's the CCM 992C wheel loader, the beadless tire version. What I want to do now is give you a little bit of history about the machine. It was unveiled in 1977. The 992C wheel loader was considered by many to be one of the finest wheel loaders ever designed. It was the largest and most powerful cat loader at the time, creating 690 flywheel horsepower. The 992C could load a cat 50-ton truck in as little as three passes. We'll move on to the model now. It has a fully detailed cab with opening door, realistic and working articulation joint, metal safety railings, articulated pistons and a dumping bucket, free-rolling tires with metal shoes, uh, a serial numbered spec brochure. As I mentioned, this is one of 500 made in 2012 with serial number 84 out of 500, and it is in 148 scale die cast. All right, let's start the model review. As you can see, it's painted in the 1970s, 1980s era of the Cat Block C, so it's that highway yellow, and the paint is a perfect match. The uh, metal shoes that are on the beadless tires... They're not really metal, they're done in plastic, but it really looks good, and it gives the effect of the beadless tires perfectly, and it really, really looks very professional and well done. So again, just to emphasize, if you're not familiar with beadless tires, they're really designed, their primary purpose is designed for better traction and rock protection in quarries and mining operations. Uh, they're they're the tires have a high inflation that give a firm and stable ride, and most importantly, they save the tire's life uh, for more work at a lower operating cost. Obviously, if you're working in rocks and boulders and that kind of thing, and you don't have any protection on the tires, you're going to have punctures and all kinds of stuff. It's just going to make your life miserable, so that's why Cat uh, had the beadless tire option. A lot of manufacturers for their wheel loaders actually still have beadless tire options. So there you go, and... 
We'll start off with the opening door feature. So if you have a little pointer, all you have to do is stick it in there, open the door. There's a detailed operator's cab with a seat, steering wheel, a couple levers and joysticks inside, and you can close the door and it sits flush so there's no unsightly hinges or anything. The hand and grab rails are and the stairs, they're all metal and to scale. The see-through perforations here, they're actually perforated through. As you can see, I'm sticking the pointer all the way through. Uh, once again, there's the Cat Block C logo, 992. You have your anti-slip tread pattern here, which does have some etched through walkway on it. Here's a look at the top. You have your double air cleaners, your double exhaust. On the back of the cab, there's two fire extinguishers, two lights. Two mirrors with a silvered surface that is non-reflective. Moving towards the rear of the loader, cat here. Once again, your see-through engine perforation here, as you can hear. So that I really like. Gives a lot of detail. This side, once again, we'll take a look at the wheels. I already showed you the beadless setup on it, but even the bolt detail is obsessive and extremely well done on both sides. You can see the rams to the loader and the entire Z-Bar linkage here, which again, that was a new feature and an innovative feature for the 992s. And looking towards the front of the bucket, you have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 tooth bucket. Visibility perforations are actually see-through, which look great. Uh, you have a windshield wiper right here in the center part of the cab. You are forward-facing lights. And again, here's your mirrors from the other side. And there's two small lights on the back of the cab, which you can see here. Across the articulation joint, you do have some rams and also some hydraulic hoses up on top. And what I'd like to do now is we will show you the underside of the machine, because that'll show you the serial number, but it's also worth showing you the detail. So let's do this very carefully here. So this is your serial number which is 084, the classic construction models logo. Here's your axles and everything else. And a look at the bucket and other underside details. And once again, another look at the shoes. So last thing we'll do is we'll actually show you the functionality. So here's the articulation, which is very good. And the machine will hold that pose in either direction. The rear wheels do have a very good range of oscillation, as every wheel loader model should have. But most importantly, how does the loader functionality work? Well, as you can see with some care, it'll go up to a pretty reasonable distance without it being forced. And then you can also dump it forward. I'm sure that it will go up higher than this, but of course, as this model is nearing 10 years old and it is a classic construction model piece, I don't want to force anything too far. But if you have a a suitable truck, maybe a 769, that's plenty high enough for it to get over the side. And once again, usually in mining and quarry, you'd be loading on a bench or a shelf, so your truck would be well underneath this anyway. It wouldn't normally be on level ground. So in effect, if you're in a diorama or a display, it would work just fine. And as I mentioned before, your, your dumping angle or tilt angle is good enough as well. So overall, I'd say the CCM Cat 992C beadless tire wheel loader is a wonderful addition to their 148 scale line of product. It is a bit dated, as I said, not only the machine in real life, but also the model as it's about eight, nine years old being released back in 2012. But again, if you are a fan of cat equipment, specifically the history of wheel loaders, and you want an example of a beadless tire wheel loader, I would encourage you to track one of these down. It's also important to mention that since the release of this, a few years later, CCM came out, came out with 992Bs, and I also have a review of that. So check out the link at the top of the screen right now if you want to compare and contrast those. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so much for watching and for your support. Take care, be safe. I'll see you in the next review.